Speak, Lord, your servant is listening. Speak, Lord, your servant is listening. Speak, Lord, your children are waiting. Speak, Lord, your children are waiting. Move, Lord, your people are willing. Move, Lord, your people are waiting. Act, Lord, your people are hungry. Act, Lord, your people are hungry. Speak, Lord, your servant is listening. Speak, Lord, your servant is listening. Move, Lord, your children will follow. Lead, Lord, your children we follow. Act, Lord, your children are waiting. Act, Lord, your people are waiting. Move, Lord, we need to see you move lord we want to follow speak lord your children are waiting speak lord we are listening speak lord Oh, yes, Lord, speak. Speak, Lord, speak. You promise us so much, Father. Continue to speak. We listen with our hearts. We listen to you with our hearts, O oh Lord. In the mighty name of Jesus, we listen to you with our hearts. Continue to touch us. Continue to move in us. Continue to fill us up. Holy Spirit, continue to blow in our lives. There's so much at stake. And yet there's so much to gain. If we pay attention to the Lord. If we seek Jesus, we seek Him. Because in Him we live and move and have our being. And all our blessings are guaranteed to us in His name in his name by the power of his blood and that's what you remind us of this morning in deuteronomy chapter 28 verse 2 to 3 oh lord that we are blessed that we are blessed if we obey your words we are blessed in the countryside in the city we are blessed in our coming in and our going out we are blessed father god speak remind us of your commandments Jesus did not come to abolish them. He came to forfeit them. He came to wrap all of that in love. And so whoever does not love any little one of yours doesn't love you. Because he said, how can we claim to love you and we cannot even love one another? How can we claim to do good to you and we cannot even do good to one another? Continue to speak, Lord. Continue to act, Lord. Continue to convict, Lord. Continue to chastise, Lord. You are a God of justice. You are even a God of vengeance. Speak, Lord. Yes, we are blessed. We are blessed if we obey. We are blessed if we live in love. We are blessed if there's a condition to everything. Speak, Lord. Speak directly to the hearts of your people.
Have your way, Holy Spirit. Have your way in my life and in the lives of all those who willingly submit themselves to you and invite you in. As long as you are there, we still need to invite you. Because if we don't make allowance for you, if we ignore you, there's no way you have your way in our lives. Jesus, thank you for your example. I want to be like you, Jesus. Spitting it out when it needs to be spitted out and keeping quiet when there's nothing to say. Thank you so much. Thank you for everything, for teaching me how it is in you, in you and you and you alone, that I find refuge. Continue to teach us, teach all those who need to learn this lesson. Breathe on my mouth, Holy Spirit. Breathe on my mouth. Bless us all. I pray for my sister Clinton in a very special way this morning. Father God, meet her at her point of need. Father God, speak to her the way you have always spoken to her in a very special father-daughter way. Father God, bless her. I'm so blessed. I'm so blessed and I'm so grateful, Papa. Continue to do it, Father. You're such an awesome God. Today, is your, oh, it's all about your blessings. Bless my bishop. I thank you so much for my bishop, Father. I thank you. Bless my pastor, Father. Pastor Henrietta, bless her. For the lessons I learned, Father, I thank you. Bless my sons, Father. Allen, David, Gabriel. Bless them, Papa. Bless them. Meet them on their way to Damascus or to Emmaus, wherever they are going to meet them in a very special way. Thank you, Father. My sisters, Pauline and Therese, Father, I lift them up to you this morning. Bless them, Father. Bless my mother. Bless my father. Thank you, Father. In the mighty name of Jesus, I pray this morning. Good morning, tribe. I hope everyone is doing well. Another solemn week. It looks like my life is just getting more and more solemn. But this is another of that year. And uh, it's not like the Lord had not told me about 2023. So, um, yeah, you know, you have to be ready. You are ready for battle. And uh, somebody once said something. I think it's Apostle Joshua Selma. Yeah, he's the one. He said, look, God's favor like that. It does not just come like pen chocolate. That. It comes with a lot of wala. So, like when the angel appeared to Mary and said, You are blessed and highly favored, Mary did not automatically sit in any gold palace. In short, she never sat in a gold palace until, you know, so haha, very controversial. When the angel said, You are blessed and highly favored, and then later on, <laughs> people realized something had happened to Mary, and nobody could point the man through whom this thing happened. And everybody knew that she had been whispered to be a virgin. And Joseph, who was betrothed to her, had not touched her. So that was scandal. How can you tell somebody you are blessed and highly favored and then scandal follows? That's not the first person. Joseph had him his dream, so he was excited to share his dream, so his father made him his coat of many colors, so voila. From pit to selling into slavery, to prison, no, to put first of all Potiphar's house, and then the wife, da, 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 and then prison before he finally got there, like when he was 30 something. Oh, David, oh, David, oh, anointed when he was 16, getting 17, something there in the bush, he was still there, taking care of his sheep, oh, very quietly, oh, already able to kill lions and everything. Some wake him anointed him last coco left all his brothers what did they what, what did what did who expect to happen to david when all his brothers now had been left i mean there was no way he could go now to go and deliver food to the brothers and then they even see him and smile with him that a prophet had come to our house and ignored all of us and anointed you 
Now you come to deliver us what kind of message. Then you tell us you can find Goliath or you want to know what's going on. In which capacity. But that's somebody who had been anointed to. So, okay. The Lord who can tell you, reveal himself to you. And say, this is what is happening. You're going to happen. Look, the journey to get there. The journey to the promised land, to the land of milk and honey. How many years did it take there? What did they not go through? So, as much as we will read today, how blessings are ours. If we obey, if we obey, and obedience is such a process, such a journey. Hey, yeah. Sometimes even obeying to keep quiet when you are being persecuted, when you are being mocked, when you are being chastised, when you are being dragged, when things are fabricated, are fabricated about you, you keep quiet. Because you know your, you know where you are going to. You know, I know what I am, what is happening. I know my project. I have my vision, everything. So I will not be distracted. I will not be distracted. And you, that is also called obedience. And you know, the best obedience is to God, not to man. Forget about it, whether the, the man is called man of God or not. It should be to God. Because you can follow man of God and man of God doesn't even know where they are going to. And you find yourself in a pit. And you cannot now count on that man of God to remove you from that pit. It will be God. So the best thing to do is, before you follow, ask God. Each step of the way, ask God. And if you don't hear from God, you invite him to speak and he does not speak. Oh yeah, withdraw. It could have been time. It, that's, it could just be putting you there to learn. After you have learned the lesson, it's time to move on. Okay. So our morning devotion, I hope everyone is doing well, is taken from the book of Deuteronomy chapter 2, verses, um, verse 2 to, chapter 28, sorry. Deuteronomy chapter 28, verse 2 to 3. All these blessings will come upon you and overtake you if you obey the Lord your God. Blessed you will be in the city and blessed you will be in the countryside. That is what it says. And all these blessings will befall and overtake you for having obeyed the voice of Yahweh your God. You will be blessed in the town and blessed in the countryside. I'm blessed. I'm blessed. I'm blessed. I'm blessed. Oh, I'm blessed in the morning. In the afternoon, in the evening, it's good to study the word. It's good to use a devotional. It's good to have a prayer partner. It's good, it's good, it's good. It's good to stand there. It's good to go to the throne of mercy all the time, throne of grace. It's just good. It's just good to, to have your Jesus journey, that intimate, intimate, intimate relationship with the Father. Forget about the shenanigans of this world. Ha, okay. The city is full of care. And he who has to go there every day finds it to be a place of great wear and tear. It is full of noise, commotion, hurried activity, and hectic drudgery. Aha. It is full of noise, commotion, hurried activity, and hectic drudgery. You know, people want to, you say, well, I want to make a life. I want to make a name. I want to, I want to, I want to. I, I see some things, you know. Um, you know, uh, you come and, oh, the Lord has done. Yeah, I got, I got this. I got that. I got that. I got that. I learned that. I learned that. I learned that. That kind of testimony is not appreciated, not clapped for. The one by the testimony where you say all the things the Lord has done for you, has given you. The car, the house, the this, the that, the that. No matter what they say with their mouth, it is that one that they want. So if you come and say, I learn how to be humble, I learn how to, to wear right clothes, I learn how to do this. I, what kind of testimony is that? So they love noise, commotion. Blah, 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 blah. Do you know who I am? Hurried activity. People are just, don't mind what you see out there. People know what goes on in their homes. And they know who they talk to and who they don't talk to. And they know all of those things. And then they come out and then they show you what they want to show you. And then you, you are there, very vulnerable, gullible. You are following. 
you to you want to show so even though you don't have no food to eat in your house no nothing you also want to wear those kind of clothes and you want to do the kind of things you see them do so you, you take the little you have everything you have you follow go there's nothing for you at home you even beg you, you are waiting for somebody to give you something to just eat but you have to show face so that they can clap for you you know that clap is so important for some people It has many temptations, losses and worries. Many temptations. I went to somewhere. Um, how many days after I went there? I went on a Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday. Four days after I went there, I was tempted. And then I knew the Lord sent me there for real. And I was tempted by one of the watchers. And I knew, and I knew, and fortunately, or unfortunately for them, I was going on my personal retreat two days later. So I just took it to that retreat. And I just said, Father, you see, what is this all about? And then he told me. And when I came back, I confronted the person, and then they just, and I was like, okay, get behind me. So you need to be very, very careful. This promise of blessing is for those who will obey if you will not obey forget about it keep saying that once say forever oh the grace the just gospel of grace no grace to obey grace to be steadfast grace to be forgiven if you come back very fast not the grace to live anyhow the grace to say whatever but to go there with the divine blessing takes the edge of its difficulty that's just what i was saying it takes the edge of its difficulty it's not like there'll be no challenges there will be challenges but by grace you will overcome by grace you are still blessed by grace you are still protected through it all that was even in the old testament just imagine now we have the blood of jesus we have his name what is there now what can man do to you to remain there with that blessing is to find pleasure in his duties and strength equals to his demands. A blessing in the city might not make us great, but it will keep us good. What are you doing with greatness? Greatness according to whose standard? Man? I don't want to be great according to any man's standard. Oh, what can man do to me? A man class for me and then what? Can I give me eternal life? Can I give me peace of heart? What can I give me serenity? Can I give me that? Say, man, what? Clap. Did they not clap for Jesus on Palm Sunday? Put palms on the floor. Wow, oh, King of Glory. La, 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 la. Oh, and then barely a week later, they were there. Eh, crucify him. Crucify him. Whether we are, uh, it might not make us rich, but it will keep us honest. Yeah. Rich what? When you have that villa, what will happen? When you have that big jeep or big whatever, what will happen? And all of those things. Even the berries, all of those things. Mangos will still feast on you. So, whether we are city workers, clerks, managers, merchants, or government officials, the city will provide us opportunities for usefulness. It is good fishing where there are schools of fish. And it is hopeful to work for our Lord amid the rushing crowds. There are some people who despise doing this, talking about God, being a servant of God, an evangelist, a prophet, an apostle, a, a pastor, a preacher, uh, even without the title, a Mother Teresa, or just being there, you know, but just doing the things of God and living the things of the world. You never heard that Mother Teresa was found in any nightclub, right? Mother Teresa was drinking wine on great... Those are all sacrifices we make. And that's some consider foolish. They've made their own choice to live in the world and enjoy themselves. And sometimes we might join them a little bit. Sometimes. But um, to each their own. But I don't follow the Russian crowds anymore. Nah, nah, nah. Following them to where? We might prefer the quiet of a country life. But if called to the city, 
we can certainly prefer it because there is room for our zeal so you are blessed in the country you are blessed in the city i personally would love to live in the country indeed my vision is to retire or to get more and more insight like inside the city or the, on the outskirts and even where i live now with my mom it's out of the main city and i can stay in my room and have no business with what goes on out there and all of that i don't hear no noise no cars no nothing that's for me that's what i love another person who wants to live in the heart of the city in a high rise apartment and da, 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 da. either way we are blessed if we obey okay this is it today let us expect good things because of this promise and let our concern be to have an open ear an open ear to the voice of the lord and a ready hand to carry out his will don't just be excited hey the terror me 28 verse 2 to 3 says i'm blessed i'm blessed in the country i'm blessed in the city uh -huh. what do you have to do to be blessed yes not our works that save us but if we want to claim them this is what we have to do it's not things that you do to the world things that you do to god you listen to his voice you obey you fulfill you let him have his way in your life you do his will not your bidding but his own that gospel of oh it's not our works which say but, eh, but you have to work your salvation with fear and trembling no you still have to do something not you are doing it to prove anything to the world but to stay in, in right standing with god we have to what's the whole point then there's no need for all of this if all of us are saved once saved, forever saved and blah, 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 we are all blessed eh, eh. that's what the word says let's stop diluting it to suit our whims and caprices and flame our frail egos obedience brings the blessing and the world was the same yesterday it will be the same today it will be the same tomorrow take it out it's your problem but i will read what is written there in the word it was there you if you obey obedience brings the blessing obedience to god not to man yes god can speak to men and god can put men over you and all of those things but if there comes a point of conflict go with it to god and say papa talk to me that's why i started by saying speak lord your servant is listening there is great reward in keeping his commandments psalm 19 verse 11 There is great reward in keeping his commandments. He can only be your good shepherd if you invite him in. If you let him be your good shepherd. He can only be your light and your salvation if you invite him in, if you let him. And if you follow that light, you can light the lamp and put on the table. And somebody is still going that way. They don't want to follow that light. Are you going to force them? Father, thank you. For speaking and I'm listening and I'm loving the process and I'm learning and I'm grateful speak Lord your servant is listening speak Lord your servant is listening move lord your children are waiting move lord your children are waiting ah father what a marvelous god you're such an awesome god an amazing god I haven't seen your kind anywhere, Father. To whom else can I go to? You have the the life, you have the bread, you have everything, Papa. No, there's nothing in the world. There's nothing any human being can offer me. There's even nothing that any human being can say that will make me stop to love you and to seek you and to invite you and to worship you. 
and to honor you this way. I never knew you would also honor me this way, Papa. I never knew. Thank you for the lessons. Thank you for all I learned, especially in 2019. Because I'm using it now to help others. And it makes sense what my sister said. You went through it so that you could help others who will go or who are going through similar situations. Papa, you know it all. What can I tell you, Papa? What can I tell you? And bless us all. And grant it that we may be able to listen, to listen to your voice and to obey your word. What does your word say, Papa? There's so much that your word says. And sometimes those who tell us your word don't tell us everything. So the best thing is for us to study your word ourselves, to read for ourselves, Father, to listen with our own ears. The audio Bibles are there. Thank you, Father, for this new day. Thank you for this new week. Holy Spirit, come and take total control of this day of mine. I bless you, Papa. I bless you, Jesus. I thank you. I honor you. I love you, darling. It is in your mighty name that I pray this morning. Amen. Okay, try. <laughs> we are blessed. He will listen. He will obey. Okay, morning devotion continues. Um, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday. Because on Thursday, I'm going for a prayer retreat. By grace, right? So, morning devotion is 4 a.m. GMT. And then... Um, Online evangelism with my bishop is tomorrow morning, tomorrow Tuesday, 10 a.m. GMT, which is 11 a.m. Cameroon time, on the Church Without Wars Evangelistic Association page, Facebook page. And I put the link there to one of the um, episodes. So you can just go there and just watch everything you have missed and then click the notification so that you don't miss the upcoming ones. It's every Tuesday at 10 a.m. GMT. And then uh, a chapter a day. I think I should start linking it too. We need to study the world. We need to study the world. So my sister, Clinton, Princess Clinton, she does a chapter a day, each day. Go, oh, God. So, yeah, we also need to do that. And um, that is it. Take care of ourselves, though. Our spiritual lives are very, very important, though. You forget about all these things, this, la, 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 all these things, like that. Okay, God bless us all. Oh.